Today, we take a look at one of the most dangerous and secretive gangs to ever exist in the UK criminal underworld. The Johnson Gang is the collective name for a group of romantical criminals from Cheltenham and Gloucestershire who specialised in stealing fine art and antiques from English country houses over a period of 20 years. The goods the gang stole are estimated to be worth anywhere between 30 million and 80 million pounds. The gang were sentenced to a total of 49 years in prison in August 2008. The Johnson gang comprised of Ricky Johnson, who was born in 1954, his sons Richard Chad Johnson, who was born in 1975, and Albie Johnson, who was born in 1983. Other members included Daniel O'Loughlin, who was born in 1976, and was the nephew of Ricky Johnson, and Michael Nichols, who was born in 1979, the boyfriend of Ricky Johnson's daughter. In addition to the thefts from stately homes, the gang were involved in thefts from shops, cash machines, and metal merchants. In 2005, the BBC made a documentary about the family called Summer with the Johnsons, in which they spoke about their love of such pursuits as hair coursing and bare knuckle boxing. They denied having burgled any country homes, but Ricky Johnson said, I would like to make it clear to the people out there, to the police and the rich people, if I feel the need when I have got to rob a stately home, I will do so. I will rob it and hope I don't get caught. But I will only rob your house if I feel the need and I have got to feed my children and nobody is helping me achieve my goal. I feel I have got the effing right to rob the lords and the sirs and the ladies. The Johnson gang are believed to have been operating for a period of more than 20 years. The most spectacular and lucrative thefts occurred in a period between April 2003 and June 2006. The gang staked out properties for several weeks before the crimes were committed and used 4x4 vehicles to ram heavily bolted gates. Notable thefts include Waddesdon Manor on the 10th of June 2003, a National Trust property and former Rothschild family residence near Aylesbury in Buckinghamshire. Goods including 100 antique gold snuff boxes worth around £5 million were stolen. These boxes belonged to a charity that belonged to the Rothschild family. On the 24th of October in 2005, Warnford Place in Sevenhampton, Wiltshire, the home of Formula One motor racing tycoon Paddy McNally, and the former home of James Bond creator Ian Fleming, was burgled and items worth more than £750,000 were taken. The thieves removed heavy steel bars from the drawing room and windows and bypassed the manor security system. On the 1st of February 2006, the gang perpetrated their biggest theft when they burgled Ramsbury Manor, the home of Harry Hyams near Marlborough in Wiltshire. The theft is believed to be the largest domestic burglary in the United Kingdom. Prosecutor Paul Reed said that this has been described as the most valuable domestic burglary ever committed in this country. The collection is described as priceless. There is a difficulty in putting a value on antiques, and antiques, some of them being very precious and very rare, but it is tens of millions of pounds. In October 2005, the police forces of Gloucestershire, Thames Valley, Warwickshire and West Mercia pulled their resources under the name Operation Hall. The police spent weeks examining CCTV footage, mobile phone records and images from speed cameras as they investigated 116 offences, ranging from country house burglaries to cash dispenser thefts. In April 2006, detectives discovered an underground bunker a field owned by an associate of the Johnsons gang near Stratford-upon-Avon. Inside were a number of black bins containing straw and porcelain, which was linked to the Ramsbury Manor burglary. Police arrested Ricky Johnson and Daniel O'Loughlin in June 2006 for the theft of metals worth £360,000. Mr Johnson and Mr O'Loughlin were convicted at Bristol Crown Court along with eight other associates in September 2007. They were all found guilty of conspiracy to commit burglary in August 2008, following a month-long trial at Reading Crown Court. Richard Chad Johnson and Daniel O'Loughlin were both jailed for 11 years. Michael Nichols was given 10 years. Albie Johnson, aged 25, was jailed for 9 years. And Ricky Johnson was given 8 years. Despite the convictions, the antiques that were worth tens of millions of pounds have yet to be recovered. Passing sentence, Judge Christopher Critchlow said, Little of the property has been recovered and is no doubt well hidden in the countryside or passed on for disposal. Since the arrests, only three items have been recovered. Two clocks, including a Benjamin Vulliami bracket clock, which aroused the suspicions of an auctioneer, and a 17th century portrait by Abraham van Dijpenbeck, stole from Ramsbury, which was found in May 2008. Since the arrest in 2006, Thames Valley Police have seen a 90% reduction in offences attributable to the group. 
And across all areas, there has been a dramatic decrease in country house burglaries and in cash machine and metal thefts. After a crime spree that spanned 20 years in and around southern England, the Johnson gang had netted around £80 million, and that attracted the attention and efforts of five police forces. The gang that was behind the biggest single burglary in British history were finally jailed. You are, said Judge Christopher Critchlow, a lawless group with no respect for people or the law. He did not need to add that they were also very good at what they did. Between 2003 and 2006, members of the 15-strong, forensically aware gang committed more than 100 separate crimes, ranging from stealing antiques from stately homes to lifting thousands of pounds worth of construction metals and knocking off cash machines. Their most lucrative haul, however, was taken from Ramsbury Manor, home of the reclusive property tycoon Harry Hyams, on February the 1st, 2006. At 10.30 that night, the gang rolled through the grounds of the Wiltshire mansion in two stolen 4x4s. After tying metal poles to the front of a Subaru estate car and ramming their way through a window, they helped themselves to more than 300 museum-grade pieces, including an 18th century barometer and a 17th century Dutch table clock, valued at £500,000. By the time they drove off into the darkness after tripping the alarm on a silver cabinet, they were £30 million better off. As a consequence of the robbery, Mr Hyams, the man who built the Centre Point, one of London's best-known landmarks, fell 49 places in that year's Sunday Times Rich List. Whilst almost half of the items were recovered a few weeks later in an underground shelter, many had been badly damaged. Although the gang burgled 12 stately homes and antique shops between April 2005 and April 2006, the story behind their audacious five-county crime wave can be told only now after Judge Critchlow lifted the reporting restrictions that had been put in place for legal reasons. This must be one of the most serious cases of burglary ever to come before the court, said Judge Critchlow. Aggravating features include the burglaries being staged at night, they were at isolated homes and people were often at home whilst they happened. They were all well planned and executed. They were sophisticated. Little has been recovered, no doubt hidden in the countryside or passed on for disposal. Ricky Johnson, Chad Johnson and Mr O'Loughlin were cleared of stealing snuff boxes worth £5 million from Waddleston Manor, home of the Rothschild family, after Judge Critchlow ruled that some prosecution evidence could not be included. But at a trial at Bristol Crown Court, 12 members of the gang, including Chad Johnson and Mr O'Loughlin, were jailed for a total of 38 years for conspiracy to burgle or steal metals. The order banning reporting of this case was lifted after Mr O'Loughlin pleaded guilty to burglary in which a cash dispenser containing nearly £55,000 was torn from a wall in a co-op shop in Stanford in the Vale, Oxfordshire on New Year's Day in 2006. He was given a 66-month sentence for the burglary by Judge Critchlow, sitting at Guildford Crown Court, to run concurrently with the jail term for the country house raids. Police had long suspected the involvement of the Irish-born travelling family, but the financial and geographical scale of the thefts was so immense that five forces, Gloucestershire, Wiltshire, Thames Valley, Warwickshire and West Mercia came together to pursue them in an investigation known as Operation Hall. The gang all had previous convictions for offences, including burglary, deception and handling stolen goods. Chad Johnson was jailed for marrying an heiress twice his age, stealing her £250,000 inheritance and leaving her bankrupt. In October 2006, more than 100 officers carried out dawn raids on the Johnson clan and arrested 14 people. Detective Superintendent Mark Warwick from Thames Valley Police, who led the joint investigation, said that the convictions and long sentences handed down spoke for themselves. He added that most importantly, members of the public in the five police areas are now able to live without the fear of crime inflicted on them by this organised criminal network. In some cases, the results of their gratuitous violence and threats inflicted on vulnerable people in their own homes has had an impact that the victims will never recover from. It is these people who have my utmost sympathy. News of the convictions will not represent the West Country's family's first brush with the media. Three years ago, the BBC broadcasted a documentary called Summer with the Johnsons, which chronicled the clan's everyday life. The programme also offered the family a chance to defend itself against allegations that it had been involved in in the Waddleston Manor burglary. In it, Ricky Johnson admitted to an awful lot of robbing over the years, but denied burgling country homes and even offered to help the Rothschild recover their stolen property. His words, though, contained more than a hint of defiance and a caveat. I would like to make it clear to the people out there, to the police and the rich people like Lord Rothschild, if I feel the need when I've got to rob a stately home, I will do so. I feel I've got the effing right to rob the lords out there. 
On June the 10th, 2003, the gang broke into Waddesdon Manor, the National Trust property and home of the Rothschild family near Aylesbury, Buckinghamshire. Snuff boxes worth five million were taken. On April the 9th, 2005, the gang broke into Woolley Park, home of the former Lord Lieutenant of Berkshire, Sir Philip Wharton. On July the 29th in 2005, the gang broke into three shops in Worcestershire, with TVs, crystal, china and kitchenware being taken, and items worth £140,000 stolen. On October the 12th, 2005, the gang broke into Ombersley Court, Joitwich, Worcestershire, the home of Lord and Lady Sandys, and took a carriage clock worth £1,000. On October the 21st, 2005, the gang broke into Ramsbury Hill House, Marlborough, and goods worth over £26,000 were taken. On October the 24th, 2005, the gang broke into Formula One tycoon Paddy McNally's home at Warrenford Place in Sevenhampton, near Swindon, and left with a £750,000 haul. In October 2005, in Gloucestershire, Thames Valley, Warwickshire and West Mercia, police start Operation Hall. On November the 8th, 2005, a library window was smashed at Spetchley Park, Worcester, but the gang left empty-handed. On November the 10th, 2005, the gang took Royal Derby China, stolen from the Caravan Park in Tenby Wells, Worcestershire. On November the 16th, 2005, the gang broke into Stanton, Harcourt Manor, Whitney, Oxfordshire. Antiques, jewellery and porcelain worth £50,000 were taken. Albie Johnson breaks both legs jumping from a window, however. On February the 1st, 2006, Harry Himes' mansion, the Ramsbury Manor in Wiltshire, was broken into by the gang. Antiques worth tens of millions of pounds were stolen in what was called Britain's most valuable domestic burglary. On March the 25th in 2006, a bunker connected to the gang is found with goods from Ramsbury Manor found in a field near Stratford-upon-Avon. On April the 25th in 2006, Woolley Park was raided again by the gang. This time, £50,000 worth of silverware, trophies and clocks were taken. From May to June in 2006, high-value metals worth £360,000 from six businesses in Berkshire, Warwickshire and Gloucestershire were stolen by the gang. On June the 17th, 2006, arrests were made during a burglary at Bamfurlong Industrial Park, Staverton, Gloucestershire. And lastly, during October the 10th to the 12th, 2006, police make a series of arrests in a huge operation known as Operation Hall. What are your opinions on the Johnson gang? Do you think the sentences were too harsh or not harsh enough? What do you think about Mr. Johnson's statement that if he has to rob a lord or a lady, even Lord Rothschild, to feed his family, that he will do so and that he feels entitled to do so? Please don't forget to let us know what you think in the comments down below. And as always, stay safe.